What's going on everyone? Enzo here. Hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are, whatever you're doing. We're going to jump right into, I think, the second and third games of our uh, preseason tournament here. We're going to go ahead and we've already sold Jao Mario. We're going to try to sell Ivan Perisic to Barcelona. They are not whatsoever interested in him in real life, but he, I think he is now going to Bayern Munich, it looks like, more than likely, as he is surplus to Conte's requirements. We're going to go ahead and try to sell him to Barcelona for over 40 million euro, nonetheless. We'll take that all day long. We're actually going to go right in at 55 and see what they're going to say to this, and they're going to grab it right away. So when I did that, I was like, oh, crap, uh, maybe I should have gone in at like 60 or 70, but 55 for Perisic, we'll take that all day long. It's uh, kind of crazy for a 30 year old excellent player but 55 million for a 30 year old at that point of his career i don't know about that from barcelona maybe they have the money to burn right now but we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the second game of the preseason verse fulham we're gonna go ahead and get into this match we haven't had a chance to round out our squad yet as these games came very early on in the preseason before i had a chance to make some signings but we're already racking up our budget we should have over 100 million euro at this point to spend uh, this point in time, we're going to just have to go with the team what we got. We got uh, the youngster Lataro Martinez, an excellent Argentine prospect who played decently well in the Copa America this well uh, this year and I think can definitely come into his own under Conte finally. But I don't know, Conte sounds like he's more going to go with, obviously, Lukaku is going to be the main starter and he still wants Dzeko. So I don't know where that's going to leave Lataro this season, but... Can't wait to find out. Anyway, early in the game here, Borja leading the break over to Azamoa in his left wing back position all the way across the field. Oh, Lataro almost impresses Conte right off the break, but it flashes just wide. Azamoa down the wing once more, cutting. Doesn't like to use his right foot, only touches the ball with his left. Makes a right footed pass there. Borja over to Brozovic. Marcelo! Nice save by the keeper. Got down well. Into the second half already, not a lot between these two sides. Inter should be doing much better than this, but haven't been able to get the breakthrough. Top of the box, shot! Oh, whistles just wide of the net from Vecino. The Uruguayan almost scored a laser into the left side of the net. We're going to have to come up with a goal here towards the end of the game if we want to take the points in the group, but Fulham... Let's see, we're going to give away a silly foul right there for Salico, right in front of Conti. Get off my field, says Conte. What are you doing, Versalico? Yellow card for you. You need to go take a timeout. Spits flying everywhere while he's yelling and screaming. Conte is not pleased. Schurler is going to go ahead and whip this one in for Fulham, though. Interesting. He's going to top of the box. Oh, it loops all the way over Handanovic. The old 19-yard header into the top corner without even looking. Goal of the season in the second game of the pre- preseason what is that Abraham and Sari coming to celebrate right there oh man I can't believe that went in 19 yard looping header over to the overhand on head just watches it float into that top corner nothing we can really do about that I don't know how else we're supposed to defend top of the box not even looking from this the half circle into the top corner nothing the defenders can do about that that is just a preposterous effort bloops right up and in just watching it float into the corner nothing we can do gonna have to try to make some late drama here it's like the 90th minute already I think we're just gonna run put everything on ultra attacking Gonna start this one up quickly. Come forward. We gotta send everyone forward. Brozovic, Politano, Conte urging the whole team forward. Versalico trying to make up for his mistake. Vecino, we're gonna need to get this into the box. Only three minutes of stoppage time into the 90. Second minute we go already. Politano lifts it in. Left foot right in front of that. He shoots and scores. Who is this to the rescue? Vecino to the rescue. The late hero. You guys remember he scored, also scored the game-winning goal versus Tottenham in the Champions League last year before Inter completely collapsed in the late rounds of the late later games of the group stages. But Vecino, I think he also scored the game winner, or maybe the tie-in goal versus Lazio a couple seasons ago when they won earned Champions League play on the last day of the season. I think he scored. I think he scored that crazy corner that bobbled around everywhere. So, comes up with the odd goal here and there. Vecino, the wall in midfield, but comes up with the goal there. And we are going to take this one. Take the, split the points here. Split the spoils. 1-1, I believe. This comes to an end. 
crazy ending to the game right there. Don't want to be living on the edge all season long like that. Conte is not going to like that one bit. He does not look happy. The players might want to take cover on the way back into the locker room. Conte is not going to be happy with that effort, even though it was a nice come from behind win. Uh, we're going to jump. So confirmation of the Jao Mario uh, sell. Uh, we're going to go here and look at our options. We have again Lukaku, Jekko, Lazaro, Godin, Barella, Sensi are really going to be the targets we are looking at. All have gone to Inter except for Jekko in real life. So I'm kind of trying to stick to that. I don't want to get too crazy and too unrealistic with the season just now starting. And I really want to build into Conti's project. But for now, these preseason games coming fast and furious. We're going to jump right in versus Lyon, who still have Ndombele. Just an amazing player, an absolute stud in the midfield. Spurs have got quite the player on their hands. One of the signings of the summer, in my opinion. Guy is, can, the guy can do it all in the midfield. Uh, we got have Politano and Fekir, who has also gone on to Real Betis. Leon was a very underrated team last year. You remember they beat, they took a game from City. I think they beat them and took a draw from them. So definitely not a team to be taken lightly. They were excellent last year in Europe and in France. Top of the box early here. Keeper dives down to his left. Keeper dives down to his left right away again. This might an annoy some people that I would say this, but League Earn is not nearly as bad as people think it is. There's more good teams than you think. They, I mean, obviously everyone looks at PSG, but Lille was excellent last year. Lyon is always an excellent team. Rons had an excellent run in Europe last year. People like to make like to crap on the French league, but it's better than people think it is. And Dombele right here, left foot off the crossbar. Showing a glimpse of why Tottenham paid the sum of, they did, what did they pay for him, 60 or 80? I can't remember, a number's not coming to my head right now, but either way, excellent signing. Borja, old man Borja, top of the box. I still have to check for you guys, or I mean you guys have the internet, you could look for yourselves, but I need to double check if Borja is still with Inter or not. I don't believe he is, I think he moved on somewhere, I would imagine anyway. Excellent player creatively in the midfield in his time, but he's just getting a little bit older. Inter living on the edge here, and Dombele again cuts it in on his right foot this time. Feeds, looping shot over the goal. This is going to go out for a corner. Again, late into the game, nothing, nothing, not getting anything going. Handanovic punches that one out, and Dombele is just everywhere. On his left foot again, off the crossbar again, off the crossbar again. Oh, shit. How has that not gone in the net? Oh, Conte has got to be furious. What is Inter doing right now? This is an embarrassment. How did that not go in? So lucky right now. Over the top. Are we going to pull one out? Whip one into the middle. Last minutes of the game. Oh, can't get that one. Oh, and time's going to run out. Cornet, that's another great player right there. Leon has a lot of, had a lot of talent last year, didn't they? Level. Game's going to come to an end, though. Nothing, nothing. Will that be enough to get us through into the next round? Handanovic is like, ugh, fuck. <laughs> Not happy with that. Perisic sold. We will take the $2 million in prize money, which I believe that means we're moving on to the next round. Right now, we have a crazy transfer budget of $100 million, and we haven't really had a chance to buy anyone yet either because of just so many games early on. Let's see if we could actually go ahead and talk to Lukaku straight off the bat. See if we can get the Belgian beast into the squad just like Inter have done in real life. 55 million asking price. I highly doubt they're going to sell Lukaku for 55. Remember there was a lot of back and forth in real life with Inter trying to bring him over. All kinds of haggling and negotiations until they finally brought him in. It was around 80 million all said and done. I don't know about the bonuses and all the extra afters. But it was around 80 in real life. So let's see if we can offer, I believe, Icardi in a swap as we're trying to get him out of here anyways. See, we really think we can help you out, bro. I don't know if this is supposed to be Ed Woodward. I don't think so. I don't know who this is supposed to be, but it doesn't look like Ed Woodward. I know the United fans like to make fun of him, though. So who, who, who knows? I have no idea. But uh, 45. Let's see. Let's see if we can bring this all the way down to let's do Icardi and seven and a half million let's see what they say to that come on Icardi and seven and a half for Lukaku I would think Icardi and Lukaku straight up would be okay too low we would consider see Lukaku and 36 that's a bit insulting 
in my opinion. I don't know who you guys... Let me know who you guys think. Who's the better player? Let me know down in the comments. Icardi or Lukaku? Who do you guys think is the better striker straight up? I, uh, I think Lukaku plus 36 for Icardi. I think that's a little insulting. I don't think they're that far apart. I think their talent is much closer than that. I don't think we're going to be able to work this deal out right now. We'll try to go back in on that one tomorrow. Can't wait to see you guys then where we're going to definitely try to grab a few of these guys. Subscribe if you want to. If not, have a good day, everyone. I will see you guys tomorrow.